top 10 radar. Yeah, we on your radar. Welcome to another episode of the Awkward Cast. Today, I've got Charlotte with me. Charlotte is our marketing expert. Thanks. <laughs> Charlotte has been doing our marketing for bare time. <laughs> Literally bare time. So Charlotte used to do our marketing when she worked for Bespoke. That was about four years ago. And then she set up her own thing and called Byra Marketing, um, which has went strength to strength. And now she has a whole team of people. Um, yeah. So from my perspective, which is fantastic because she has an expert in each individual section of marketing whether it's seo or doing your social ads or whatever they might be we now are working with an expert that charlotte puts together so charlotte do you want to tell us a little bit about your setup at byra yeah sure um so as you know after i left um or not didn't leave you but started working for you under my left under my agency um (laughs) yeah so the guys that i've got there are really really fantastic myself and my business partner have both got the same um disciplines if you like in terms of what we do uh from a marketing perspective yeah but then we've got like you say an seo representative somebody that can manage paid advertising social media executives people that work in web development just every single expertise that we can have what that really means for businesses is that they don't have to employ an entire team um they they're able to then just outsource and they yeah. can choose the skill sets that they need for a retainer that they can afford each month and that works really really well for them yeah, that's the, the bit I love about it, to be honest, because it's it's just, yeah, you're tapping into people that are the experts in there, and they're not they're not all great at everything. They just home in on something they are great on. Yeah, so you're yeah. an expert. So we market all of our companies through Byra, um, and there's a bit of a diverse, um, and there are lots of different industries. So they capture all of the different industries and do a fantastic job in all of them. Um, However, the reason I've got Charlotte on here is not to talk about how great she is. <laughs> it's to go, uh, what Bespoke have got coming up as well. Okay, so Charlotte, do you want to give a bit of a rundown on what Bespoke have got coming up from a marketing perspective? Because we've got some pretty big news. Yes, we have. And it's going to be very exciting. Um, so Bespoke has obviously been through quite a journey over the past few years and just growing, growing, growing as usual. But you've been expanding in... Um, into different geographical territories for quite some time and we've kind of felt that the brand name of bespoke norfolk has restricted that essentially a little bit um in which case as you can tell by the lovely sign up here we're going to be rebranding that name just the trading name to bespoke construction group which will mean that we're going to have a new website to boot as well which uh, we're going to be garnering traffic from suffolk cambridgeshire hertfordshire and those surrounding areas as well um, and yeah, essentially all the marketing activities that go alongside trying to gain work in those areas for you. So it's going to be really exciting. Absolutely. Yeah. Charlotte's been uh, mentioning changing the name and taking the Norfolk out of it for some time because it's restrictive. And I've sort of held on to it for as long as I can. But reality is we're doing lots of other projects in other regions. And we're now at a point where we're approaching other architects in Cambridgeshire and Suffolk and with the Norfolk name, it is really just restrictive. It sort of says, would well, you actually work out here? Yeah. <laughs> and we've actually got a lot of projects just down the road from them, but it's sort of still holding up to Norfolk. So it was only the trading name that will actually change. Yeah. Um, and the website's being launched on Friday. Yeah, that's right. So by the time this podcast is live, no doubt it is actually alive, so you can go and check it out. <laughs> Exciting times. Yeah. Yeah, I've um I've seen I've seen the website the other day and did a final sign off and it looks incredible. So super excited about that. Yeah, Charlotte, you mentioned about how our journey um from a marketing perspective has changed so drastically throughout the years, and um I just wondered if you could give us a little bit of uh, yeah how that transpired, why, how, and where we're going. Yeah, sure. So absolutely years back, I remember you guys approaching and you know with your brand name can you design a logo etc etc uh, yeah. that. you did those leaflets yeah there were some did, leaflets back in the day i think i've still got one of you did a leaflet and uh me and uh ben drove around in our yeah banged out van um delivering them to everybody's house in along thornham and that and, <laughs> and tragic i remember doing one day really hung over as well <laughs> because that's the thing isn't it that's how marketing was done back in the day is that it's like all of like the max effort that a person can physically put in yeah whereas these days it's all about the digital technologies and advancements that we've got that you can make online that really changes your marketing so i remember that that's how how you guys kind of marketing was back in the day and then of course facebook really took off yeah and you guys had of course really incredible projects that you could share 
and sharing those um, the pictures online, people just went nuts for it. And and I think that was what kind of took your marketing to the next level. But then, of course, um, a couple of years back now, well, I suppose really um, it would be about four years ago once I would kind of was actually yeah. working in-house at the company, um, it, it became the case that it, it was no longer performing as well as it used to do in, for, from that sense. And that's because Facebook... Mark Zuckerberg had got really greedy and decided that he wanted um, people to be paying to advertise on Facebook and they no longer wanted to show businesses in people's feeds. Oh. And so <clears throat> you and Ben, I remember sitting around the table and being like, why does this not work anymore? Just sort it out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, make us go viral. And it would just be like, I can't do that just based on pictures yeah, anymore. Yeah, I remember having those conversations, actually. Yes, it the, had so many... The likes like dropped off, didn't they? It was about five or six years ago, I think it really did change. Yeah, it really, really changes. And that is the thing, is that marketing changes is monthly, weekly, almost daily. I have got Google alerts daily for different subjects to come into my inbox and tell me what has changed and what's different. Oh, really? Yeah, literally well, daily. right ball, eh? I know. <laughs> <laughs> it is. That's why I'm so stressed. <laughs> um, but yeah, and that's the point. I think the point is that you have to kind of move and change with the times. And I think that's what's really great about working with you guys is that you really kind of encourage um trying new things and forward thinking yeah exactly forward yeah. thinking and what can we Not, do next and what's different yeah um and i think sometimes you charlotte's had to rein me in because some of my marketing <laughs> ideas are nothing short of tragic but <laughs> i've heard them out there and uh yeah and see what she comes back with yeah well you know we let you do the christmas video that was good yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's a long way of putting it <laughs> right charlotte so next i want to talk uh, to you about I'm going to ask you a question next. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the way it works. I know you. I know that you invited me onto the podcast, but okay. I'm going to ask you one, which is what actually is your vision and goal for Bespoke Construction Group moving forward? Okay. Um, so the vision and goal for Bespoke Construction Group is essentially if there's a, you're a restrictive number of an amazing projects in Norfolk. So if the net was wider, the net was bigger, then you're picking up other areas. There's more collaboration with amazing architects in different areas. Um, so we've been reaching out to people as we speak, trying to make them form those relationships. We've also got some really cool projects coming up um, through our other company, the investment company in those areas. So the idea is to sort of we can give um, other people work and then they give us or put us on the tender lists and sort of that's what make the world go round. Um Historically, what's happened in areas of Norfolk even is if we get a um, project in Fakenham, um, we then tend to get two or three more projects in Fakenham. Yeah. We establish a site there and then people see us. They then look up the website um, and then they get in touch. So there's no difference to what will happen in those other areas. We've got um, one with an IP address at the moment and we've had a few calls off the back of that. Really lovely project. Um, so, yeah. That's the concept, and I think we've also created this almost like concept where we're greater pricing. We're great, the structure and the processes behind the scenes is like nailed, yeah. so it enables us to be able to go into other areas knowing that you've got good management, good QS, good project, good um, delivery team, and it makes you feel really comfortable. Yeah. Um, so that enables us to, to uh, yeah, spread our wings. Yeah. I think that's also reflected in the actual marketing as well. So the the amazing business that you've created that works so well in terms of its process and structures is also really reflected in the the way that the marketing for it is done as well so that you can just pick up that kind of cookie cutter approach and take it into Suffolk, Cambridgeshire, Hertfordshire, et cetera yeah. as well. And the processes that we know for which we market that model there, we yeah. can just pick it up and move it there and we know that we can generate leads for that section too so i think that's why it's going to work so well so also our company goals this year was why can't we have 100 percent happy clients why can't we i asked the team like why can't we do you know what i mean there's always going to be things that don't quite go right in construction because that's construction your roof light turns up and it's cracked and do you know what i mean then there's a delay all these things managed in the right way um just uh, and manage the clients, manage the contract administrators, etc. They can be, they can end all on good terms all of the time. Yeah. Um, so I think personally, we've made your marketing job very easy <laughs> <laughs> uh, because obviously you'll get uh, Charlotte goes out at the end of the project, goes and takes cam uh, pictures, and sometimes Mark with the videos. Um, 
and also getting testimonials from clients. So we sent her out to every project. She gets a testimonial, which is then, again, concretes in going out to other areas because the, yeah, the proof is in the pudding. So if I can go back to my question now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so what I wanted to talk to you about is, and again, it's your idea. So you're, when you come to us, you said, I think, and we were looking at websites, we were looking at um, our social media, and we want it to be different from everybody else. Mm. And it's a fine line between um, still looking really professional, still looking like um, a really good outfit, but also trying to get our personalities across. And I think it was you that come up with the idea that said we need to try and get our personalities across because um, we are a really good group and a really good team with great ethos. And I want that to, and it oozes out onto our projects. But I guess I'll, we were hoping uh, we wanted to get that across in person which is why we're doing some of these things. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's something that we've said for quite a long time and it is the case for every business, actually, that businesses are boring, right, actually? (laughs) I'm sorry, but they are. I've got a business. It's boring. And my own social media would be boring if we didn't reflect the personality of the people behind it. Absolutely. Um, And people are nosy, as in like the, the, the general public are nosy. They like to see what is going on behind the scenes. They like to know who are the people that are behind it. Yeah. And so getting that across and showing the individual um, people that are here, because there are some amazing personalities here. They crack me up every time I come like into this office. So I think... Like, you know, we've been doing these podcasts, we've had meet the team, like little quick reels. There's been lots of different things that we're sharing and have got plans to share. And I just can't wait for people to see people's personalities because it's just, it's great. Yeah, cool. I, um, On the website as well, with our headshots of uh, meet the team, yeah. got a bit of a twist. So go and check that out on its live. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Right. Thanks, Charlotte. Um, finally, I just want to say that I've um, actually heard Charlotte sing and she's got an amazing voice. And I wonder if she could just give us a little <laughs> song. Um, that's not going to Right, Charlotte, it's been emotional. Thank yeah. you so much. Thanks, Cheers. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.